Hey everyone, welcome back to the studio. It's Serica, and today I've got my 2020 bullet journal setup video for you. This year I'm going to be sticking with my brown traveler's notebook. Inside of it, I've got two dot grid notebooks. And the traveler's notebook company does sell planner inserts, but I prefer to make my own so that way I can customize it to my liking. The first insert I've already set up with all of my monthly logs. This is a very simple structure for the calendar. Feel free to snag it if you want for your own traveler's notebook, if that's what you're using. I've got blocks of five by seven for each of the days. And then I have this space on the right, which I might use for decoration. I do everything in pencil, just in case I make a mistake, it's easy to fix. And also, I like how subtle it looks. I've already written all the important holidays and birthdays, so I don't forget. At the end of the notebook, there are a few blank pages that I figure I could use for collections that I want to be permanent throughout the year. The second notebook is going to be for my weekly overview and all of my daily logs. So that is the basic structure and functionality of my two notebooks for my bullet journal. And I love it because you can totally just keep it simple and minimalistic, especially if you're very, very busy or you just don't have any interest in decorating it. But you know me, I love decorating all of my spreads with lots of fun ephemera and stamping and stickers. So that is exactly what I am going to do. Let's get to the fun part. If you're curious about any of my supplies, um, check out my video description. I'm going to leave as many links as possible to the various stamp pads and stickers, washi tape, ephemera, all of those things that I'm using. I'm going to try to find the link for it so that you can get that information. And as usual, I'm just playing around with my stationery. I'm not really going in with any sort of plan. I'm just doing what I feel looks right. I know some people ask me if I have any sort of like preconceived layout for these things and honestly I don't. Um, it's just a way for me to unwind so you can do as much or as little decorating as you want and I think that's the beauty of this method of bullet journaling. You don't really have to worry about the decorating part affecting the functionality. It's just however much you want to do. So how have you all been? Let me know. It's been such a long time since I've posted a video. Have you got your planner set up already for 2020? I know some people are very early. They've got all their bullet journal spreads all done in October or November. And other people, you know, they wait until the last minute. And some people, they just, they do it in February. So let me know what your setup is. I would love to know. And let me know if you switched your planner system. Did you make any changes from 2019 to 2020? Let me know. And that is pretty much it. So until the next video, happy journaling, happy planning, and I'll see you next time. Bye.